Hi everyone, Justin Pate from the RAP Institute and we're here at Solar Screen headquarters in Luxembourg and in this video you can get an overview of all the tools you need to install flat glass window tin. Really important to get the right tools. Now as you've been ordering for Solar Screen for years, you've been ordering their film but maybe not their tools. But recently they partnered with SOT and SOT has over 500 tools in their catalog which is super exciting but can be confusing if you're trying to dial in the right ones. So you're going to get this specific overview and it's going to come from the one and only Marco Boyer from SOT. So he's going to walk us through it. Marco, thank you for joining us today. Hi. Hi. Awesome. So what we've done is, uh, Marco, you've gone through the catalog, you've mm -hmm. chosen, you know, obviously there's probably extra ones you can add, but these are the essential tools that you need yeah. to apply, yeah. you know, tint for flat glass. Mm -hmm. So we're going to walk you through each one so you really understand why you should choose these ones. And once you do, you're going to get the great install. So with Rep Institute, we always like to tidy everything up into categories. There's always prep, install and post, and that's how we've laid out the tools today. So we'll begin with prep. Obviously prep is okay. essential for getting a long-term no, install. Of course, absolutely, yeah. So here are the prep tools. We'll begin with, let's say, you know, what's really common when you're installing glass is you gotta get those little specks off the window. Can You can't get it off with your hand and just kind of elbow True. grease. Yeah. You need some scrapers. So you got some sponges, you yep. got a metal scraper, mm -hmm. you got this scraper, and then a plastic scraper. What's the story with it? Okay, this one works actually uh, in the beginning. In the beginning, this one is, is, is the real Cleaning, mm. cleaning spoons, to call it. So, so it's it's, it's a scotch bright, okay. so it's it, but it won't scratch. That's okay. really really good. Nice. The, these one are the real scrapers, mm. and you have the the big heavy one. Yeah. If you if you have a duty, um, this one is actually one of the most common uh, thing. It's it's angled. It's uh, it has a rubber grip. Nice. So when you when you use a lot of times, you won't have any cramps or whatever. So okay. this is really good. And then you have different varieties: standard steel and normal normal steel. Nice. This one is especially for for polycarbonate, ah. so it won't scratch on polycarbonate. Okay. On those uh, plastic glass, this is this is the one then nice. for that. Yeah, so you have a wide variety of different scraper solutions, yeah. and then you always want to use surface cleaner too to kind of get the window clean, but also to get yeah. the, what's so special about surface cleaner. Uh, actually, this is good because there is a lot of um, uh, special additives in it, so it, it cleans perfectly. It's, it crawls under the dirt, ah. so this is really good. Okay. But sometimes okay. people think it's a little, uh, it's a little bit strong smelling if you have if you have to do large areas. Sure. Then this one is a very good one because this is specially made for glass. Ah. This is a glass cleaner. This is a surface cleaner for everything. Okay. So this is super. Nice. This is also super, but this is especially for glass. Cool. So it's all up, all up to you and what, 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 what the customer wants. Nice. So that's this. So you have your scrapers, you got your solutions, kind of you always want to spray the solution, you don't want to scrape dry. And then you obviously want to soak up the moisture and stuff like that. So you have two different types of towels. You have the blue and the white. Yeah. So yeah. what's the story there? This is actually the common the common thing. It's okay. it's three layers, so, so it won't tear apart when it's wet. Oh, nice. So this is for the for the first big cleaning. Nice. Then you can soak up all the water and the dirt with this one. Okay. These ones soak perfectly, but these one this one will never tear apart and nice. there's no there is no dust and everything so okay. you can clean because it's white you will see immediately when something is dirty you see the black ah, nice. on the desk cool okay. but also when you when you want to soak up the water underneath the film you can use this too nice. and you can dry it out and, and then use it again okay great so again the prep tools you know you see basically you get the overview of the prep so once you get the prep done mm -hmm. and you're ready to actually install the tint What's great about you know tint is you don't need a whole lot of wide range of tools. It's not like you're say you're no, changing not. a car, but you do need the right ones. So here's your tools for installation. You have your blades, you have your straight edge here, and you got your different application tools yeah. and your solutions. What's the story? Okay, um, if, if you want to install, of course, you need the good solutions. Yep. Filmon is a good one. It's a, it's a sort of gel version, so it, it becomes very uh, call it slidable in, mm. in your glass. It's it's the best. Don't any you, you won't get any spots, mm. especially security film. It's always a pain in the ass to yes. get it perfectly. Okay. This is the one then. But then you need also more better squeezes for that. I will coming on on, on that back back mm -hmm. later. Yep. This is actually the most the most sort of installing squeezy that you can use. It's just, just a soft soft rubber grip on nice. that. Okay. This one is actually the same sort of but this is more st stronger. Ah. So it's far more stiff you yeah. feel the difference. No, and I like See? this and it's a big wide Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so 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 for big areas this is Speed. really the best one. And of course with this for example you can put it in here. Or oh nice. So it's it's possible. Awesome. So, so again perfect. you got the tool belt to go with the long yeah. so it's easy it's because great. then you have your hand and free and you can work very fast. Okay. Never put put your tools on the ground. Huh? You know that, huh? Not for, not for Especially for you. <laughs> but then I noticed you have two, you know these two applicators. This one is actually a squared off, so it doesn't kind of bevel out. So what's the story? Why True. is it squared? It, well, actually, it's it's more power. It gives you more power, especially for for safety film, safety ah. security film. Okay. This is gives you far more power. You have also a bigger a bigger a wider version. Sure. 
So this is actually uh, for, for safety security, thick films. Stiff. This one is actually, is becoming far more popular because you have so much power for this. Ah. It's, it's, it looks a little bit the same, it's a little bit softer, okay. but you have far more grip. And that's mainly for safety, because the safety film is generally thicker, so you really got to push yeah, that water. Yeah. But this one you can use also for normal films. Ah. So this one is absolutely only safety films, thick films. Yeah. This one you, you can use for everything. Okay. It's really cool. This one is, is, is a little bit the same like this, like these. Yeah. But with the tube, you have a very good grip ah. because, it's, because it's a bigger tube. Right. So you won't, you won't get all those cramps, what you normally have if you do a lot of work. Uh, a lot of uh, window films. Yeah, because I mean, if you've never done tinting on flat windows and stuff like that, you're generally doing a lot of square meters or square mm -hmm. feet. So yeah. you really want to make sure you get the tools and that's what these are perfect exactly. for. Exactly. But then obviously getting the tinting on, the, the tint on the window is one story, but then trimming it is a different story. <laughs> yeah. So you have three different knives here and you got your safe boxes mm -hmm. and straight edge. So, you know, what's the story with these different types? Well, I think we have in our catalog maybe 50 different uh, knives and everyone has, has his own favorite. Sure. But this is of course the most common one that yeah. everyone using. For me, uh, myself, I like this one because this is uh, die cast aluminum, so you have far more grip and it goes in very small steps. Mm. Some people lo love these because they have five blades in it, so you can immediately switch it over. Nice. That's, that's really interesting, but they're all real ones and they are very stable, so you won't have the feeling that it's going wobbling. Okay, excellent. So, yeah. And then for the straight edge right now, a lot of times, you know, people, you know, there's finishing and trimming off the edges. Mm -hmm. You particularly like this one. What's this, why do you like this particular straight edge? Well, actually, this is, of course, it's again die cast aluminum, okay. but it has a non slip on it. Nice. So if you want to cut, especially when you have big windows and you have to make a fold and then cut, this is the one that you can put on and it's, it, it won't slip. Nice. So you can cut very easy without any slip, even when, when it's water, uh, when it's slippy because of the water. Yeah. No big deal. Excellent. So then once you get the material on and you've cut everything out, then it's always about finishing. You know, in the Rapids too, we really push prep and we, post, we, mm -hmm. we really put an emphasis on finishing because a lot of people just get focused on the install. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of good tools for finishing as well, especially on those flat glass. Yeah. Right, why these particular ones? Well, what you see normally, when, when you do bigger, big windows, there is always a lot of water underneath. Yes. It, and, and it stays there, but, but it will going down because of the uh, because of gravity. Yes. So, so you get that, uh, if, you, if, you, if you don't squeeze out very perfectly, you, you get all those spots on the bubbles. Okay. So when you squeeze and you have on the edges here, here and on top, you have to have more power to, to get it out. Okay. And then you can use these sort of squeezes. Okay, so hard of course this one too. So these these yeah. particular squeegees are extremely hard. So again, like with this particular one, I'm a big fan of this squeegee. It comes mm -hmm. in yellow, red, and True. green. Yeah. Green is super hard and it's great for flat glass. Yeah, so exactly when you do this, you, you can have those edges so you have a lot of power to, to, to wipe out all the, all the moisture. This one is a little bit more soft, but it gives you a very good feeling. Nice. Because it's a little bit more soft, you, 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 you have actually better friction, okay. so you can squeeze it out perfectly. Nice. And then, if you use this this paper on on top of it, Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. then you can absorb all the water. Yeah, that's really good to really do with too. the top, so you yeah. just want to get so, that full, and you want to get the right towel, because yeah. obviously once you get the tint on, you don't want to scratch it to finish, so these parts are perfect. Yeah, and then for cutting, ah. to, to, to finish it, to cut underneath, some people do it by hand, mm -hmm. which is sometimes a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. Yeah, you know that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you put this, I can cut from here or there, and then ah, perfectly okay. underneath. So you have the corner, and this one has the same thing. But this is a little bit super, it's, it's called the Hustler. It has, the, it's, it's not, it's, the angle is different. Okay. So you can put it on top completely and put my knife on, 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 on it and then and this is around so I don't have the problem with the window film is maybe uh, scratching or whatever because it's okay. just it's completely round. Nice okay yeah. and then if, when you're done you have this uh, finisher right here so what's the story behind this yeah. one? Yeah this is actually a sort of call it a sort of oily wax it's 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 completely natural so it won't uh, damage anything mm. but if you put it on and then wipe it off a little bit it goes completely smooth and also dust free so the, ah. the dust will just glide off and nice. make it's very bright. Wow, excellent. Really cool. Excellent. Yeah. So that's a good way to finish. And then obviously, when you take the take tint off down yeah. the line, can leave some residue behind. So you want Absolutely. to make sure you use this. Yeah. This is we're done three minutes, and then it's gone. Nice. That's yeah. a very effective one. So you know, for me, you know, which is, what's nice about this again is it's not a lot. You know, again, I mean, I've seen tool bags that are just massive, but again, that's for different types of insulation. Mm -hmm. But for flat glass tinting, I think this is a great combination. Actually, if you have the good tools, you yeah. don't need so much. Yes. But 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 if you do it a lot of times, you also want to adjust a little bit your, your, the work. Some people work very fast and they want to different squeegees then or, or, or different knives, but it's all up to them. And we have them, so Which is people great. are uh, perfectly 
by us with our with our our materials. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. So again, now you can order the tint for the windows, which yeah. is great. Go through the catalog and it's not so confusing anymore because now you know the store. Everything's for, there. Which is everything's there. So it's again great combination, great partnership between Solar Screen and SOT. So if this helps you choose the right tools and your next install will go better and smoother. So Marco, thank you for joining us okay. on the video today. Thank you for watching. I'm Justin from the Rapids Institute. Cheers.